Now that summer's here, it's time to start talking about protecting yourself from the sun. News Channel 15's meteorologist Hannah Strong spoke with an expert today, and she joins us now along West State Boulevard with tips to keep you and your family safe. Hannah. Brett, sunburns aren't the only thing we need to protect against. A physician's assistant at Three Rivers Dermatology told me that it can take up to years to see signs of skin damage. Those can be brown spots or even skin cancer that, again, appears later in life. Those are the things we're going to hope to teach you how to protect against today. Now, earlier today, I asked some of you guys at home to send me pictures of the sky through Facebook and Twitter. Here are a few of those that we received today. You see, the sky isn't perfectly clear, but it's not completely cloudy either. Now add to that that today's UV index is an 8 on a scale from 1 to 12. That makes today a perfect day to wear some sunscreen. When you're going to be out, you know, taking on active sun, you're looking for that SPF 30 or higher and to reapply at least every two hours. If you do think you have sun damage, doctors recommend the two-month rule. If your spot has not healed after two months, it's time to see a doctor. It's also important to know that the UV rays from the sun can get through clouds and through glass. So some of you that drive a lot, you might start to notice some brown spots on the left side of your face. That means it's time to start wearing sunscreen while you're in the car because, again, that sun can get through the glass. It can also get through the clouds on a cloudy day like today. Reporting live from West State Boulevard, Hannah Strong, News Channel 15.